Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the runner using which you can run the Karate feature file in the parallel. That is parallel runner. In our project, whenever we create the feature file, we create the corresponding runner and we can still do that. So when you create the parallel runner, there are three points on which you need to pay attention. The first point is parallel runner should be placed inside the package from where all the package are visible that contains the feature file. Second, in the parallel runner, we need to use the class path variable to specify the location of the feature file. And the third point is we need to configure the number of threads that will be used by the parallel runner for the execution. There are two classes available in the Karate framework using which you can create the parallel runner. The first class is the runner class and the second class is the builder class. As you can see here inside this classes, we have methods available using which we can configure and create the parallel runner. So let us see how you can create the parallel runner using the builder class. So first I'm going to add a new class file inside this package. The reason why I'm creating the parallel runner inside this package because this is a top level package and from this package all the feature files which are available in the child package are visible. So inside this we will create a class and let me call it as parallel builder. Inside this class first we need to add a normal JUnit test method. With this method we need to use the annotation that is at the rate test. Make sure that this annotation should be coming from this package. Now inside this method we need to specify the configuration for the parallel runner. So let us look at the builder class. So inside the builder class we have method that is path as well as the using this two method I am going to create the parallel runner. So first I need to create the object of the builder class. And using the object, I'm going to call the method that is path. So as you can see here, there are two overloaded version of the path method. The first one takes the list of string and second takes the variable argument of type string. So basically you can specify a single or multiple packages path and the Karate framework will pick up those for the execution. Now here I'm going to use the class path variable as we know that the class path is an environment variable which is used for locating and loading the file. So class path and the location of the package. So this is our package. And in this manner I need to specify the package. So in this case Karate framework is going to execute all the feature files that are defined under this package as well as all the feature files that are defined under the child package of this package. You can still specify the location of the specific feature file in the parallel runner just like this. But this doesn't make any sense as we are using only single feature file inside the parallel runner. After this, I will specify the number of threads. So in this case, the Karate framework is going to create five threads and it will use those threads for the execution. If the number of feature file is greater than the number of threads, then the execution of the feature file will wait until unless it is allocated a thread for the execution. Now, once this is done, just do a right click run as JUnit test. So there are total 8 feature files which this particular runner executed. 18 scenario. Total number of scenario which got passed is 15 and there are 3 failed scenarios. Now instead of specifying this particular package I will specify this package 
in the parallel runner. In this case, the Karate framework will pick up all the feature files which are part of this package as well as the feature files which are part of all the child package. So basically, this runner is going to execute all the feature files which we have in our project currently. So this is the execution report. In the similar manner, you can use the runner class for creating the parallel runner. So inside the runner class, there are some static method available using which you can create the parallel runner. So inside this package, I'm going to add one more class file and let me call it as parallel runner. Inside this class file, I will create a test method and use at the rate test annotation with this method as the methods which are available in the runner class are static so I can use the class name to call those methods so runner dot parallel so the first argument is the get class and second argument is the number of threads and let me run this runner so this is the report you can also specify the builder configuration inside this method also So let me copy this code inside this class and then I will use runner dot parallel and then I can pass this configuration here. So the execution is done and this is the outcome. So in this manner, by using the runner class or the builder class, you can create the parallel runner in the Karate framework.